This video demonstrates the procedure to perform the propeller fluid flow and system port pressure test. Please see 30-11-36 of the Model 208 Maintenance Manual for complete information concerning this procedure. This procedure applies to the cargo pod and the fairing TKS system installation on the 208 and 208B airplanes. The purpose of this procedure is to verify that the TKS panels and lines are free of obstructions. An obstruction in the distribution system will lead to a higher pressure at the test port and or a greater flow rate from the propeller as these are the points of least resistance in the TKS system. A fluid collector system can be fabricated to contain the TKS fluid and keep it off the floor. Recommended materials for a fluid collection system include plastic sheets, tubing, aluminum tape, and rigid aluminum and or plastic gutter material. Use the following materials to assemble the pressure gauge with a nylon hose. Remove external electrical power from the airplane. Disengage the circuit breakers on the left-hand circuit breaker panel that follow. Primary anti-ice, windshield anti-ice, backup anti-ice. Ensure that the following switches are in the off position. External power bus switch, battery DC power switch, Fluid control primary, fluid control backup, avionics bus 1, avionics bus 2. To gain access to the test port on the TKS fairing installation, the aft fairing section must be removed. Refer to Chapter 30 in the Caravan Maintenance Manual for removal instructions. To gain access to the test port on the TKS cargo pod installation, the forward middle cargo pod must be opened. Attach the fluid collection system below the porous panels for the purge procedure. Assemble the nylon tubing with the pressure gauge on one end and the nut, sleeve, and sealing ring on the other end. Warning: Before the components of the TKS system are disconnected, slowly loosen the coupling that is connected to the component to be removed because it is possible that high pressure is still in the system. Caution: Do not use the seals again after loosening or disconnecting a tube coupling. Examine the seal for damage and ensure that it is in the correct position in the coupling. This will help to prevent fluid leakage from the coupling. Remove the 5 16 inch blanking cap from the test port. Install the nylon tubing with the pressure gauge to the test port. Place the 500 milliliter beaker below the propeller. A piece of 1 8 inch flexible plastic tubing can be used to collect the fluid from the TKS propeller feed nozzle to the graduated flask. At this point, the propeller flow and port pressure test can be started. Begin with supplying external electrical power to the airplane. Set the external power switch on the pilot switch panel in the bus position. Set the avionics 1 switch to the on position. Set the avionics 2 switch to the on position. Engage the circuit breakers on the left circuit breaker panel that follow. Primary anti-ice. Windshield anti-ice. Backup anti-ice. Before the test is continued, ensure that the following conditions exist. Set the anti-ice fluid control primary switch on the left panel to the high position. Read the pressure indicated on the pressure gauge at the test port at 60 second intervals until three consecutive readings are the same. Record the indications that follow. The tank fluid temperature, the fluid pressure that shows on the gauge at the test port. After three readings that were the same, in the next 60 seconds, read the amount of fluid collected at the propeller beaker. 
The volume of fluid in the beaker at the end of the 60-second period should be no greater than the value shown in Table 501 for the appropriate fluid temperature. If the fluid flow is greater than the value shown, a blockage in the system is present, and the porous panel purge procedure must be carried out. After the pressure at the test port stabilizes, the pressure should correspond to the value shown here in Table 502 for the appropriate fluid temperature. If the test port pressure is greater than the value shown, a blockage in the system is present, and the porous panel purge must be carried out. If the test port gauge shows more than 25 PSI after 2 minutes, perform the porous panel purge again. When the porous panel purge procedure is completed, perform the pressure test again. Remove the digital pressure gauge tube assembly from the test port. Install the 5 sixteenths cap on the unequal T. If necessary, install the aft fairing section. Refer to TKS Anti-Ice System Maintenance Practices for instructions on fairing installation. Remove the fluid collection system from the airplane. I hope you found this video to be helpful. For further information, please call Techstar Aviation Team Turboprop Technical Support at 316-517-5800.